Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very powerful and exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation today. I will solve this question using two different methods. So let me write method number one and let's get started by writing domain of the equation. So square root is involved. First point I can write x should be greater than or equal to zero. And second point denominator cannot be zero. So I will write root x cannot be equal to 4, 5, 6, 7. In other words, we can write x cannot be 16, 25, 36, 49. Now I will use algebraic manipulation that is our method number one. I will add one and subtract one. You can begin with substitution itself also. Minus 4. I will write minus 1. So I need to write over there. Plus 1 also in the left hand side. Root x minus 6 over root x minus 5. And this is in the bracket. Now RHS, same job we will do in the right hand side also. Root x minus 7 over root x minus 6 minus 1. Plus 1 minus root x minus 8 over root x minus 7. Now we can take LCM or you can make the denominator common. So what I will write here from these two I will take 1 and these two we will consider for simplification. Okay. So I will write root x minus 5 minus root x plus 4 divided by root x minus 4. Now second combination I will consider plus then I need to write root x minus 5 minus root x plus 6 divided by root x minus 5 equal to root x minus 7 minus root x plus 6 divided by root x minus 6 and last term I will write root x minus 7 minus root x plus 8 divided by root x minus 7. Okay. Now we can cancel whatever we can. So root x this term will be over. Over plus root x minus root x plus root x minus root x. What is left? Minus 1 over root x minus 4. That is left over there plus I will write 1 over root x minus 5 then equal to we will write minus 1 over root x minus 6 and then we will write plus 1 over root x minus 7 done. Now what I will do I will consider LCM once again. So once I will consider LCM I will write in the denominator in the left hand side root x minus 4 and root x minus 5. In the LHS and in the RHS also root x minus 6 times root x minus 7. Now let's write the numerators. So I will write here minus root x plus 5 cross multiply the written numbers and then I will write plus root x minus 4. Same job I will do here minus root x plus 7 plus root x minus 6. Now see we can cancel plus and minus root x. And you, if you will observe in numerator it is flat 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. So what we will have our written denominators of the question that would be in the denominator in product form and numerator is 1. Okay. Let me write here 1 over square root x minus 4 times square root x minus 5 equal to 1 over square root 6 x minus 6 times square root x minus 7. So reciprocal is equal. That means numbers are equal. So we can write root x minus 4 
times root x minus 5. This product should be equal to each other. Root x minus 6 times root x minus 7. Now I will expand it. So once I will expand this one, I can write x minus minus 5 root x minus 4 root x. Then I can write minus 9 root x. You can put root x is equal to a or t at the beginning also. If you have any problem, minus 4 times minus 5 plus 20. Root x times root x, x. Root x times minus 7, minus 7 root x, minus 6 root x, minus 13 root x. Minus 6 times minus 7 plus 42. Now you can easily cancel these two x's and then I will shuffle, rearrange the terms so that we can write 13 root x minus 9 root x, 4 root x and 42 minus 20, 22. So from here we are having root x is equal to 22 over 4. Squaring both sides, I will write my answer x is equal to, but before that you can cancel, this is 11 over 2. So now you square both sides, x will be equal to 1 to 1 over 4. This is our answer using algebraic manipulation method. Now method number 2. Method number 2 I will use substitution. You can see 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 terms are there. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you will see 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then 6 I will consider our substitution. So that 5 and 7 we can write t plus 1 t minus 1 form. This 4 and 8 we can consider t plus 2 t minus 2 form. So let us consider square root x minus 6 is equal to a. Okay. Then what I will write over there. Everything will change. Root x minus 6 is equal to a. That means root x minus 4 it would be a plus 2. Okay. Root x minus 5, it would be a plus 1. Root x minus 6, it is already there. Root x minus 7, I will write minus 1, so a minus 1. And root x minus 8, we will write a plus 2. a minus 2, sorry. Okay. Now let's apply here. Root x minus 5. I will write a plus 1 over root x minus 4. So a plus 2. Done. Minus root x minus 6. So a root x minus 5. So a plus 1 equal to root x minus 7. So I will consider a minus 1. Root x minus 6. I will write a root x minus 8. I will write a minus 2. And root x minus 7, I will consider a minus 1. Now take LCM. So I will write it is a plus 1 whole a square minus a times a plus 2 divided by a plus 1 a plus 2. Now come to RHS. Same task a minus 1 whole a square minus a times a minus 2 over a times a minus 1. Let's expand. a square plus 2a plus 1 minus a square minus 2a divided by a plus 1 times a plus 2. Now you can see a square minus a square over 2a minus 2a over. What is left? Only 1. Similar job we will do. a square minus 2a plus 1 minus a square plus 2a. Same thing, we will cancel plus and minus a square plus and minus 2a. What is left in the denominator? a times a minus 1. So it is 1 over a plus 1 times a plus 2, 1 over a times a minus 1. So let me write directly denominator equal to each other. So I will write a plus 1 times a plus 2 equal to a times a minus 1. Now I will 
expand it take the product let's expand a square a times 2 2a 1 times a 8 a plus 2a 3a 1 times 2 2 equal to a times a a square minus a we will cancel a square from both sides so it will become 4a is equal to minus 2 a will be equal to minus 1 by 2 dividing by 4 both sides what is a a was our substitution root x minus 6 so let me write over there root x minus 6 equal to minus half so root x is equal to 6 minus half which will give us 11 over 2 in taking a square both sides i can write 121 over 4 answer is coming out same 121 over 4 now i will verify so let me write here verification and see it is none of the exempted list values so i will put x is equal to 11 root x x is equal to 121 over 4 that means indirectly we are putting root x is equal to 11 over 2 same thing so 11 over 2 is 5.5 .5. so let us write over there i will write root x minus 5 so that is 5.5 .5 minus 5 so i will write 0 0.5 0 0.5 is half so let me write in terms of half 5.5 minus 4 so it is 1.5 3 over 2 minus 5.5 minus 6 so i will write minus half and then 5.5 minus 5 half rhs 5.5 minus 7 so it is 3 by 2 with negative sign over 5.5 minus 6 so minus half minus 5.5 minus 8 so it is minus 5 by 2 done and then 5.5 minus 7 so it is minus 3 by 2 now only we have to check so first value is 1 by 3 and then plus this half and half will be over 1 left hand side is 1 over 3 plus 1 right hand side if you will see it is 3 half and denominator by 2 will be over 3 minus this term will be cancelled out only what would be left 5 over 3 so check if i will add then i will write 1 by 3 plus 3 over 3 is equal to 9 over 3 minus 5 over 3 is this true so 4 over 3 is equal to 4 over 3 yes so x is equal to 121 over 4 is verified answer i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next next video bye bye